Folks, I had a person ask about how to pan video, possibly, like you would in a Ken Burns effect with photos. He said, is it possible to pan video? And the absolute question is exactly, yes, it is, in Premiere Pro. This is CC version 2014. I'm recording this in August. I'm going to do a right-click in here. I'm going to say New Sequence. And I'm going to put a 1080p 30 sequence in. A 1080p is going to be 1920 by 1080. You see it right here. So I'm just, I'm just going to call this a resize video, resize pan video. Doesn't matter what you call it, really. Now I'm going to uh, pull some. I've pulled some video up over here on this side. This this is some 4K. Uh, if you pull this open, it doesn't look like this. There's a lot of times there's all kinds of data over here. You can move these things around if I wanted to pull frame rate in front there or whatever. I wanted video info so I could see what size it was. Just a little tip there for you if you don't know how to do that. So this shows that I've got some 2.7K video and I've got some 4K video. I don't even know what's in these. The, the friend that's asking this is asking, can he use 4K video and pull it around? I'm going to say yes. I know this is some video I shot on the parkway last year. Now I could choose to change the sequence setting if I wanted to, and that's going to turn this whole sequence into a 4K video. I don't want to do that, though. He wants to be able to pan a 4K video around inside a regular 1080p sequence, which I do this all the time. I'm going to say keep existing settings. And so now what we st what we have here is we have a piece of video that I shot up at Chestoa View. It's kind of a hazy day and lots of uh, vapor trails in the sky. But at, at first glance, you think, well, there's not much here but some mountains. But this is 4K video at 15 frames per second. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go up here to motion. You see motion, I'm a twirlist over here. And I'm at 100%, so I have 100% 4K video inside a 1080p frame. So what I'm going to do, I, I could either uh, hold over this and click, or, you know, left click and drag. Or I can go over here and click that down. I like to grab this little thing sometimes. So now you see what's really there. There's the full, K, full 4K video. So there's a lot of video there, right? This is 15 frame per second video you see over here, so it's not quite as uh, still it, you know quite as smooth as you'd see if it were shot 30, but still it's pretty awesome. So let's say that he wants to, you know, instead of going 43 per 49 percent here or something, let's say he wants to shoot this at I don't know or wants to present this at about 80 percent. Okay, so I could go up here, I can click on this and type in 80, 80, and so there we go. So now this might not be framed up the way the person wants to, to use it. He might want to go a little bit more left or right or up or down. Now this video I am panning around. Let's 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 guess. Let me turn my audio off here. I don't want to hear that. I'll turn, turn the audio off by going down here and muting it. And so uh, let's say that yeah, I'm holding fairly steady in that in that part of the video, but I want to pan around a little bit maybe. Maybe here's a good place to use an example. I'm going to kind of just clip this video. I'm going to pull it over here, and I'm going to ripple delete. And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here into, posi into position and scale. I'm going to put a keyframe in. But you do that just by clicking that little clock there and clicking it here, and you'll see it puts a little diamond. You can't see it real good because it's just showing half of it right there and right there, and that's my keyframe. So let's say that I want to, I don't know, move forward this far, and I want that thing to, to uh, scale a little bit, right? up to this point, so I'm eight seconds in roughly, or 10 seconds in it says here. And so let's say that at this point, I want this to be, I don't know, 60%. So in other words, I'm panning out. And uh, so let's just watch what happens over time. What'll happen is that you'll see it'll look, it'll look almost like a, uh, like I've got a zoom lens on this, even though I don't. And it's panning out right now as we speak. So there you go, it's panning out, panning out, panning out, and a little bird or something or a leaf just went in front of me. So here we're up to about we're up to about 11 seconds. So let's say now that I want to uh, go back down to I don't know 90% again, or back up to 90%. So what's going to happen? It's going to do that again. But let's say that I want to pan this video maybe even more back over in this direction. So now what I would do, I'm going to put a position. Uh, look to what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to here, back to where we were. And I'm going to put a position keyframe, another one in there. This is a little bit aggravating. This, there, the way you put that keyframe in there is you click that, add, remove a keyframe. So I just added a keyframe. Sometimes you can't see it because your your dimensions are over it or your position position coordinates there. So now I want to maybe, as this thing zooms back in, I want to paint it back over this way some. So you can see here, I'm going to drag to that part right there, but I want it to go back this, oh, sorry, this direction here. 
I want to see more what's on that side. So look at that. So there's the edge of the video. So now what's going to happen is over time, this little bit of time here, it's going to zoom out and it's going to pan over. Look at that. And then what we can do, let's say, okay, you want to pan back to the center of the screen again. Now, I don't have to add a keyframe. The only time you have to add a keyframe is if you're starting from a zero point. So let's say it's okay to start from the point I was at here. And uh, now I'm going to pan back, back again this way some. And now I'm going to make the scale, I don't know, let's make the scale about like this. So now let's watch what happens to this piece of video. As we, can, we, we know what's going to happen here. It's going to pan. I'm going to fast forward over this part. I don't want to bore you folks. So now we're panning out, panning out, or zooming out, moving out. You'll see what happens up here. You can watch what's going to happen. Look at that goes. Look at that. Then we're going to pan back out, pan back out again. And there we go. And now we're kind of back to normal. And we've still got this huge part of 4K video inside this 1080p. So yeah, you can pan and scale and move video around just like you would in regular Ken Burns effect with photos, only you can do it with video. Folks, hopefully that's helped someone. Uh, I realize I may not have explained it the best in the world, but uh, you'll get the idea just by using the keyframes, position, and scale over time. That'll get it done. Peace to everyone. Hope it helps.